Hello there everyone, just a practical tip today on the timing of pension contributions, specifically pre-year-end corporate contributions. Now I've done lots of videos on putting away a few quid into your pension, your personal pension, from your limited company as a mechanism for saving corporation tax. Now, in terms of practically how you go about it, let's just think this through for one moment. If you are sort of what I would call doing it yourself kind of pension, where you've got maybe an app with Hargreaves Lansdowne or AJ Bell. Remember, it's it's a personal pension pot and the contributions can come from either you as an individual, which reduces your income tax, or from your limited company, which reduces your corporation tax. So two completely different sources going to the same pot completely different tax ramifications but just the, the the kind of the default on these apps is that when you make a contribution and you do it on your phone and you can do it really quick the default position will be that it's an individual contribution and it literally takes seconds to do you just you know press a couple of uh, buttons on your phone and you move monies across, and then you decide how to invest it in your pension. And then, of course, if it's an, the, that default being the, the individual contribution, then the government top up the 20% to the basic rate because it works completely different from a tax mechanism than it does for a corporate pension play. Now, here's the thing then. If the default position on your apps is all geared towards making personal contributions, but actually you want to make a corporate contribution, it can be a little bit more fiddly. Not a huge amount, but basically it's not as simple as just pressing buttons on your phone. Um, from the, the way that these things work, what you normally have to do is get in touch with a provider like AJ Bell or Hargreaves Lansdowne and say, look, I'm going to do a corporate contribution. So please do not reclaim the extra 20% from HMRC because it's not an individual contribution. It's a corporate contribution. Notwithstanding the fact it goes to the same pot. It's all going to your personal pot, but it's from your company. And that's a little bit more admin-y. Normally it's, it's maybe an email or a separate form or something you have to do. But the point is... If you're rushing to do these contributions pre-year end, like take today, for example, 31st of August, had it been an individual contribution, you could do it in a matter of seconds. But like I've said, if it's pre-year end corporation tax planning, 31st of August, you want the company to make the contribution, you may find that you have to go through just a couple more hoops in terms of admin with the pension platform. So just be mindful of that. Um, get in touch with them and say, look, you want to make a corporate contribution. And it could be, um, hopefully there's not going to be a delay on it. And you literally, it's a question of filling in a form or sending an email or whatever it is. But I would suggest it's not going to be as easy as just tapping a couple of things on your app like it would be for a personal contribution. So do bear that in mind. Give yourself some more time is what I'm saying. Don't leave it to the last minute. And I know that's easier said than done because thousands of people right now across the UK will be making corporate pension contributions for those limited companies, those SME businesses that have 31st of August year ends. But hopefully you won't get stuck insofar as the admin says you can't do that or you need 24 hours or 48 hours. So just bear in mind, give yourselves a little bit more time. Don't get it right down to the wire. At least give yourselves a few days. I mean, really, you should give yourself a few weeks or even better. What you should do um, practically is, is chip away at making pension contributions through the year, regular contributions, and then do a, a reasonable top up pre year end based on how much capacity you've got left and how much cash is in your limited company. Um, then you get in the, you know, you're getting, because the tax man doesn't care the timing of your contributions in the year to get the full corporation tax relief as long as it's in the year. So whether it's on day one or day 365 of your financial year. But of course, the earlier you do it, you're getting a, a, a quicker run at getting involved with the stock market and, and hopefully making a few quid. On the, uh, on the markets and you'll get that um, those investments returns that much quicker than if you leave it to the very last day of your accounting period. So just a word of caution there, um, do, um, you know, bear in mind, 
possible extra admin if you're making a corporate contribution. But uh, um, always still worth doing tax relief uh, is very good, as I've mentioned on numerous times before. So just uh, an overview there on some pension admin for corporate contributions. If you like this video, do subscribe. And as always, I'll see you soon.